Time now for Better Health. I'm joined here with Asante's health expert, Beth Coker. Beth, today we're talking about heart disease in women. For many, people think it is a man's disease, heart disease, but as many men as women die per year in the United States, so heart disease is the number one killer for women. Sadly, most women don't know that it is the number one killer. They think it is breast cancer, so they're unaware of some of the symptoms and signs that a heart disease prevents. It's often a silent progression and they don't realize they have heart disease until they've suffered a heart attack or arrhythmias which are irregular heart rhythms or heart failure. So talking about heart attack, what are the signs of that? Are they same as men for women? Some signs are the same but women have unique signs with a heart attack and it can be pain in the jaw, shoulders or the neck that they don't recognize, pain between the shoulder blades in the back, indigestion, a profuse sweating, lightheadedness, fainting, vomiting, nausea, pain in one or both arms. These are serious symptoms to pay attention. And if women are experiencing any of these symptoms, don't drive yourself to the emergency room. Call 911 because in the ambulance they can put EKG on you, get some medicines on board, and take you right into that cath lab when you get to the Asante hospitals. Yeah, make sure you're taken care of there. Let's talk risk factors. What are they? Some are unique to women. They're the usual ones, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes. But for women also it is smoking, it is inactivity, it is eating a diet that is too high in fat and cholesterol. And there are some things that they can do to reduce that risk. Okay, so talk about what can they do? What are some preventative measures? Exercise, eat healthy diets, stop smoking, limit alcohol, and reduce your stress. There is a certain type of heart attack associated with women mainly due to emotional duress or extreme depression. It's called a takosubo, and it affects women as they go through a severe emotional trauma, the death of a loved one, the death of a child especially, a divorce that is very hard to walk through. So women need to be aware of this. It is not a man's disease. Heart disease affects women as much as it does men. So pay attention to the symptoms, get help, talk to your doctor. Good stuff right there, Beth, thank you. We'll be right back.